Okay, we are going to do the bits button today. I already added some components on my uh, form. You just uh, quickly add some items inside the radio group. Okay, I'm only going to add two here. Let's set this item index to something like zero. So that there is a value in there. Okay, bitmap button is basically a button that has a picture with it. The options that you ever have over here is retry, yes, okay, no, ignore, help, custom, close, cancel, all, and abort. Let's just have a look at the close one. With the close button, this one is already coded for you. So when you create a bitmap button and you say it's a close button and you click on the button, it will close your program for you. But the others, you must actually code yourself. So let's go to the retry one. Okay, like I said, I already have a few objects on my form. So when I click on that, this button, I want to reset all these values. I want to empty the reach edit. I want to edit, um, empty the edit box. I want to set this spin edit back to the value of zero. I want to uncheck everything that was selected in the radio group. And I want to set the label back to something. Okay, so let's say the form was already um, filled in and the user wants to click on the retry button to send everything back to the original state so that you can maybe make a new entry or something. Okay, so when the user clicks on the retry button, I'm gonna clear everything that was in the edit box. So I'm gonna say edit one to clear. Next thing that I can do maybe is I can put the focus, the cursor, back into the edit box. So it's edit1.set focus. Okay, the focus is currently in the edit box. So I can click there, add something, hit retry, and it will take the focus back to the edit box. The spin edit, you can just do something like this, spin it one dot value set that back to zero remember the value is actually an integer data type so i don't need to put this in single quotation marks okay so we'll set it back to zero now for the radio group i'm going to say radio group one dot item index I'm gonna set it to minus one because if it's minus one nothing is selected in my radio group at the moment everything is selected now I'm gonna click on the button it will unselect it next one is the let's go to the reach edit reach edit we can say reach edit one dot Clear. And it will clear everything in my reach edit. And let's just empty the labels if you want to change the label to something else. Back to a default value. I'll just empty it. Let's just put something in there so that we can see that there is actually something in this label. Okay, so that's a retry button, a bitmap button to reset everything back to, let's say, the start or beginning of the program.